What's it like being known as the Nickel Queen? <laughs> well, I think it's a bit bloody stupid. Do you use gas or electricity? Oh, you must be choking. A wood stove and an old black bastard it is, too. Um, you keep the hotel at Mirabilly. The pub. The, the pub. Um, what's it called? The, the pub. Um, uh, I see. Um, I understand it's made of galvanized iron. Tin. And you look after the hotel yourself? Yes, since it became too much for my husband. Oh, he had to give it up? Well, he had no choice in the matter. He turned his toes up, if you know what I mean. It's well known that Mrs. Meg Blake has the city at her feet. Today, on the roof of the magnificent Parmelia Hotel, the city of Perth below, we've been talking to the Nickel Queen, Mrs. Meg Blake. Naturally, we're all very excited about Spinifex Hill. That's why I'm trying to buy up all the shares I can get my hands on. None of you happen to have any up your sleeve, do you? I just wish I had. Well, too bad. Well, if you hear of any, I'm in the market for them. Now, if you'll excuse us. Two very dear friends of mine, Mr. and Mrs. Ernest Whitaker, Mrs. Margaret Blake. How do you do? Welcome to Perth, my dear. Wonderful interview. So refreshing to find someone so candid. Anyhow, we're going to see a lot of each other while you're in Perth. Ed, have you mentioned to Meg about next Saturday? Oh, no, no, I hadn't. Oh, we wanted to throw a little party for you, my dear. Give you a chance to meet all the right people. Excuse me, Mrs. Blake, the Premier and two Cabinet members have arrived. I'd like to introduce you. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, Sir David. May I introduce Mrs. Meg Blake? How do you do, Mrs. Blake? How do you do? I've read about your remarkable nickel find. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. I'd uh, like you to meet the Minister for Industrial Development, the Honourable Charles Court. You've How certainly you? made uh, Spinifex Hill famous. Oh. <laughs> and the Minister for Mines, the Honourable Arthur Griffin. How do you do, Mrs. Blake? How do you do? Uh, I, I do know something about your part of the world, and I know your hotel, too. Oh, I had a few in the bar, eh? <laughs> yes, oh, just a few. But I was quite a young man then, and a little more cautious. <laughs> and, Mr. Court, I understand you're in charge of developing us. Yes, you're going to have a magnificent new railway. And a new station? Yes, but it'll be a sad thing to see the old tin sheds go. <laughs> it's a pleasant change to meet a woman prospect of Mrs. Blake, particularly one looking like you. Oh, well, that's nice. You'll have to open our mind for us. Oh, with pleasure. We'll go down it together. Right, that's the date. <laughs> Mrs. Blake, could we have a photograph, please? And perhaps a toast to the Nickel Queen. Must have gone off a bloody rocker. The Nickel Queen. <laughs>